Democracy and election fraud would appear to be strange bedfellows, but not in Stephen Harper's Canada. Judge Mosley of the Federal Court of Canada confirmed in a recently released judicial ruling that election fraud did indeed arise in the 2011 federal election. Canada's ruling neoconservatives seized a majority of seats in Canada's parliament in the fraudulent election, which allowed them to radically alter the country. He effectively got his majority government with about one out of every five Canadians voting for him. So roughly 20% of adult Canadians voted Conservative in the last election, and yet he's got this majority government, which is effectively bargained away our freedom, bargained away our environmental protection laws, through our native peoples under the bus. But the, the powers that, that are in, in charge of us, they're, uh, they're all for it. And, and um, yeah, there's no, no democracy here whatsoever. And it's a shame. Judge Mosley, in his finding, stated unambiguously. Misleading calls about the location of polling stations were made to electors in writings across the country. And the purpose of those calls was to suppress the votes of electors who had indicated their voting preference in response to earlier voter identification calls. The government of Prime Minister Stephen Harper has been trying to portray Canada as a kind of utopian democracy while lecturing other countries on democratic ethics. This, as the country's federal court recently ruled that widespread election fraud took place in the 2011 election, which led to the victory of the Harper government. Do some prosecutions. I mean, the, the mounted police should be investigating this and uh, determine who's responsible for these, uh, this corrupt practice. And uh, people should be charged. And if they're charged under the Elections Act and found guilty, um, then they could face uh, potentially a five year imprisonment term. That's the most extreme uh, uh, punishment available. So. Critics note the irony of the fact that the Harper government is trying to impose what it calls democracy on foreign countries, while its own democratic legitimacy is being questioned domestically. Some critics even wonder if the Harper government is constantly picking holes in other countries' political systems merely to deflect attention away from its own anti-democratic tendencies. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.